Hey guys, welcome to day 22 of No BS November. Um, I'm coming to you from my cozy office on a Sunday. Um, having gotten out of my pajamas all day long, <laughs> it's been nice. Um, and I like to do it in the dark, kind of. I have Christmas lights over here, and I really like, it feels cozy to me. So that's how I'm making this video, because it's, it's comfortable. Um, unless that happens. Okay, so anyway. Today I wanted to talk to you about um, what you're putting in your mind and how powerful your subconscious is. Um, and the reason, like what inspired me to make this video today was that I had a call with one of my Tony Robbins mentors. And it's something that you get after attending a UPW event, which is Unleash the Power Within. I've talked about it uh, a lot over this, over this uh, video series because it happened just last month. Um, but I was reminded about how powerful our subconscious is. And most of the time we don't even know it. Like it's not something I, I was aware of until, um, I started coaching and doing personal development. I didn't, I wasn't aware that my subconscious was like guiding my life this whole time. No idea. Um, so if that's new to you, like it's true. Um, <laughs> So, <clears throat> when we were talking, we, um, like, we kind of went over something we did at UPW, and at UPW, you go through and really sit down and analyze your subconscious, and the beliefs, mainly you focus on the limiting beliefs that are lying in your subconscious, controlling your life, that are holding you back, like, if you want to be successful financially, but you have this limiting belief that you'll never be successful, that kind of holds you back, you know? It's like you consciously are like, I, you know, I want to pay off my debt. I want to work off. I want to, like, travel, do whatever, you know? Um, whatever successful financially looks like for you. And for a lot of us um, in the beginning, until you are successful, it's like, I want to pay my bills. I want to pay off my debt, you know? So um, you have that going for you consciously but subconsciously something along the lines or you know along the lines of your life when you're growing up somebody told you that you could you're not you can't be successful somebody told you that you can't make money somebody told you that only rich people who are jerks make money somebody told you something that resonated with you as a kid and became a subconscious limiting belief of yours and it holds you back and it's like it's a very interesting thing because it's kind of like um, you don't know it's there because consciously you're like, what? That's ridiculous. But it's what controls your feelings. So you want to take a look at your feelings about that. Anyway, let's move on from that. Um, so we kind of at UPW go through this process and you really take a look at what's holding you back. And so when I was on the phone with my mentor, um, with my coach, he kind of went through the same thing with me. And he asked me, he asked me a bit of a background of like how I grew up. And um, because a lot of that correlates with what's happening now. And I wanted to share, I'm not going to share the whole thing, but I'll share a little bit about um, what he had described back to me as things that were my conditioning. Um, so he had me draw this tree. These are my notes from the call. He had me draw this tree. Terrible drawing. Um, and the roots are my conditioning. So I told him the story, like some stories about, you know, parts of my childhood and stuff. And so this is what he told me to write down. Um, parents divorced, parents fighting, drugs, strange people in my life that I, d that I couldn't trust, you know. I have trust issues. Um, but not for no, not for no reason. Um, I felt like an outcast because I was always a new kid. I always moved a lot, so I didn't feel, um, welcome or, you know, stuff like that. Uh, not loved, felt used, um, things were taken and stolen and sold from my possessions as a kid. I moved a lot, lived in hotels, was homeless, and hungry. That's what you have me write down. So, and a lot of that controls what's happening now in my life. 
And yeah, yeah, I've like seen a lot of change and a lot of growth, but there's still things that are holding me back. Like I'm, there's, I could be further along in life than I am. And I'm not like putting a time, time, um, line on things, but you know, I want to improve. I want to be the best version of myself as I can. So, you know, you go, you get coaching like this, um, to help your, to help you improve. So, um, and that made me realize how powerful our subconscious is. And it was, I was more reminded because I did learn about that. Um, but there was, there were things growing up, um, like when I moved out at 18, I wanted to change. I didn't want to keep living this life that I was living with my, with my mom and the kind of people we were surrounded by, the kind of neighborhood we were in, like, it's not what I wanted for my life. Like I, I wanted to be successful. I wanted to have fun. I wanted to be happy. I wanted to be healthy. I wanted to flourish and be the best version of myself that I could be and like, you know, set my soul free basically, right? And so when I moved out and started wanting to change my life, um, I wasn't doing any personal growth. I was not doing personal development. I didn't have any coaches. I didn't have any help in that realm. But what I did have was a strong enough reason why. I had a huge reason why I wanted to change. Um, and that was because I didn't want to continue li living like I was living. I, I spent 18 years living that way, you know? That was long enough for me. Like, I needed to move on and I needed to not be like that ever again or anymore, you know? And then I would look into my future. If I continued to live like that, I'd probably die of an overdose, you know? Or get killed or raped or who fucking knows like I was not in a good place so that was reason for me enough to get out and to change and um I would look into my future and see if I kept doing that you know I'd I'd be dead or in jail or something and I would also look and see if I didn't change I would see my kids like if I had kids chances are I would um I would have kids and they'd be living the same life I did. I'd have to see their faces, you know, with the same face that I had growing up. And I didn't want that for them or myself. I didn't want to see that in them and I didn't want to continue living it myself. I didn't want to have to pawn my children's possessions for food or for whatever. So that was a strong enough reason for me to change. But then as I got older, you know, I, I needed, I got stuck in a rut because, you know, I thought I had to go to college. I thought I had to go to, you know, college and work at a corporate job and wear slacks and heels and, and that's what I was doing. Um, and so mainly what I want to focus on is what you're putting in your head. Like I was watching the news all the time. I was watching commercials. I was a consumer, like feeling like I needed to buy all this stuff, feeling like I needed to buy this certain makeup to look pretty, feeling like I had to buy these certain clothes to feel sexy and wanted and accepted or whatever. And that's what marketing and that's what these commercials and big companies like Coke and McDonald's and all these things want you to do. They want you to buy their shit. And especially with the food, like they, they, really got it down like to get people addicted and wanting to buy that shit and it's all like feeding you through these commercials and through the commercials on the radio and through the news spreading fear and shit um i was watching uh russell brand's stand-up last night uh called the messiah complex i think that's what it was called it was really good hilarious very um on point with the message and I really dig that. I really dig stuff with a message. That's the only reason why I watched it because I know what he stands for and I know what comes out of his mouth usually. It was, it was uh, pretty perverted, but aside from that, like, um, really good message and very informative for people who like just informative in, in general. But anyway, he was talking about like, for example, he was talking about commercial ads and ad, just ads for Dr. Pepper, for example, and how their slogan is unbelievably satisfying. And we're led to believe that by drinking this soda, uh, we're supposed to feel unbelievably satisfied, but we're left feeling sick, we're left feeling empty, 
and we have this notion that we're supposed to be super satisfied and that's what we're looking for. And we're not going to find that in a damn Dr. Pepper, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're going to find that in love and human, uh, human touch and, you know. So um, all these advertisings and news and news programs and shit like that is just like crap filling your brain. So Derek and I canceled our cable like four years ago or something like that. Uh, three, it was in 2012, I think. Um, we canceled, we canceled our cable, and we haven't had cable since. We save money, and we don't watch mindless television. Like we have Hulu and Netflix, and we'll watch movies, and we'll watch some shows, but it's a lot cheaper, and we're not like um, watching all these commercials and stuff like that. And it's made a huge difference, you know. We don't listen to the radio much. We listen to personal development in the car. Um, when I'm taking a shower, I listen to personal development. I listen to stuff that's going to help grow my mind because you need help. Like our minds are like a computer and we need to reprogram it because growing up, we've been programmed with all these things that people have said around us and all of their beliefs and all of their fuck ups. We take it as our own and make it our own. Like, I grew up poor and whatever, all this other stuff. That doesn't mean that that's my identity. That doesn't mean that that's me. And that's how I'm doomed to spend the rest of my life. And same for you. Like, no matter what people tell you when you're a kid or tell you even now, like, that's not what you're doomed to be for the rest of your life. Like, who are they to choose who you are? You know what I mean? So you need to, like, really work on reprogram reprogramming your mind doing personal development, listening to motivational videos, um, going to seminars, really focusing on your personal growth and changing and, you know, not changing, but becoming more of who you are. You're throwing away the bullshit that's been stuffed into your brain all these years. And that's what you're doing by doing personal development. And, um, you know, really think about what you're listening to and what you're watching and what you're letting be put in your head like who are you surrounding yourself with are they talking about people are they gossiping are they talking shit about you are you talking shit about them like what's going on you know really think about that because that shit is super important your subconscious is very powerful so um this video is getting way too long so i'm gonna go ahead and go and spend time with my hubby i hope you guys have an awesome week ahead and uh you know Please share this video, share this message, let people know that you love them, um, and really expand your mind and open up to, to what's going on out there in the world and be aware of the things that are going into your head. So I hope you guys have an awesome night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.